kids, it's Miss Corinne, and I'm so glad you joined us for church today. When you come to Victory Kids, you learn that God loves you unconditionally. That means he loves you no matter what. We can get to know God by coming to church, just like you are right now, and learning about the Bible. Today, we are going to see how you are God's masterpiece, because you are forgiven. A masterpiece is the very best piece of art that an artist creates. And that is how God thinks of you. God made you unique. There's no one else like you. Now repeat after me. God made me unique. Awesome. This week's story can be found in the book of 2 Kings. Now 2 Kings is in the Old Testament. That means it happened before Jesus was born. Let's join our puppet friends and see what they have to say about how you are unique. Hi, I'm Savannah. And I'm Melly. And we are so glad you are with us today. We are learning that we are God's masterpiece. Uh, what's a masterpiece? A masterpiece is the best piece of art that an artist creates. It's their favorite thing. And we're God's masterpiece? Yep. Oh, wow. How do you know that, Savannah? Well, because God tells us this in the Bible. Where? In Ephesians 2.10, God tells us that we are his masterpiece. What? Savannah, that was a great verse. It said something about how God has a plan for me, a good plan. That's right. God has a great plan for you and for all of you kids. But how can God have so many plans? That's a lot of things for him to remember. Well, God is amazing. He has made lots of plans for lots of people for a long time. We see his plans all over the stories in the Bible. Oh, Savannah, will you show me a Bible story right now? I want to see God's good plans. Sure, let's watch a story from the Bible and see what we can learn about how we are God's masterpiece. Everyone, make sure your thinking caps are on. And your listening ears. Let's watch our story. God's masterpiece, Josiah. This is Josiah. Hey -o. Josiah became king of Israel when he was only eight years old. Yep. Now the country of Israel had a very long line of kings who did many bad things, including Josiah's father and grandfather. These kings did not follow after God and they ignored his commandments and his law. But when Josiah became king, he did what God wanted him to and followed the example of King David. Yeah! 18 years after Josiah became king, he sent one of his court secretary, Shaphan, to God's temple. Thank you. Many of the kings before Josiah did not take good care of God's house, so it was in need of repair. Hmm. While they're in the temple, Hilkiah, the high priest, said to Shaphan, Hey! I have found the book of the law in the Lord's temple. So Shaphan took the scroll back to King Josiah and read it to him. <laughs> when Josiah heard what was in the book, he was greatly upset. Oh, no! Because the people of Israel were not doing the things that God asked him to do, and Josiah knew that God must be angry with Israel for not obeying his commandments. Josiah gathered together all the people of Israel to the temple and read the entire book of the covenant to them. That very day, Josiah and all the people promised that they would obey all of what God commanded with all their hearts and souls. We promise you. Josiah went on to help Israel become a people fully committed to God. He tore down all the other temples and the idols that they had set up. He got rid of all the people who were doing bad things all throughout Israel. And he did all that was commanded in God's book. Never before had there been a king like Josiah who turned to the Lord with all his heart and soul and strength, obeying all the laws of Moses. And there has never been a king like him since. Today we saw the story of Josiah. Do you know how old he was when he became king? 
He was only eight years old. But even more amazing, he changed Israel for the better. He helped them to follow God again. Now, Josiah was a unique kid. To be unique means that there's no one else like you. It means you are one of a kind. Everyone show me one. Good. I can look at you and know you are because you all look different. Do you know what? Only you can do what God has made you to do. Now, just like Josiah didn't have to wait to be grown up to become the king, you don't have to wait until you are grown up to do God's unique plan. God has a plan for you to do good things right now. That was such a good story. God had a great plan for that person. Yes, he did. But Savannah, what am I supposed to learn from that story? There's so much to learn from that story, but I think we should see what Pastor Steve has to say about it. Oh, that's a great idea. He's super smart. He is, so make sure you still have your thinking caps on. And your listening ears. And let's join Pastor Steve for Get It, Got It, Good. This is Get It, Got It, Good with Pastor Steve. Get it? Got it. it. Good. Hi, guys. I'm Pastor Steve. And I'm Millie. And this is Get It. Got It. Good. Well, today we saw the story of Josiah. Ooh, the Kid King. Yeah, that's right. And this story is pretty amazing. He became the king at only eight years old. What's even more amazing is that he changed Israel for the better. He helped them to follow God again. Wow, he was pretty special. He was a very unique kid. What does the word unique mean? Oh, well, to be unique means you're the only one like you. It means that you are one of a kind. Oh, I get it. Like how I'm the only one who's purple with orange spots. Well, yes, but even more than how you look, you are unique because there's no one else like Melly. Yeah, I know. And that's a good thing, Melly. Only Josiah could do what he did, and only you can do what God has made Melly to do. Really? Oh, that's right. Melly, you are very special. And you are special too, guys, because you are God's masterpiece. You are unique. There's no one else like you. God made you very special. To do a very special thing. That's right. Wow. I'm excited to see what God does with all of us unique people and scuppets. Me too. So remember to be you, the unique person or scuppet <laughs> that God has made you to be. Get it? Got it. Good. We love you guys, and we'll see you next time. I think I got it now. I am God's masterpiece, and God made me special for a special reason. Thanks, God! Good, Melly. God did make you special, and kids, he made you special too. You are his masterpiece. God created you to do the good things that he has planned for you. God loves you all so much. And so do we. We'll see you next time.